Hey everybody, welcome to Khrushchevet, Serbia, my new home for 2023 and beyond. Come with me while I give you a tour of the downtown area. It's quite small, but it's uh, quite elegant. There's fountains, there's statues, there's cafes, there's kafanas, and there's nice people. I can't wait to show you the town, so let's go. So you might be wondering, why did I move to Khrushchevet, Serbia? The answer is, is because I spent a lot of time in Belgrade and I just decided, hey, I have friends down here. They invited me to live down here with them and I needed a change, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, also, a lot of Russians and Ukrainians were coming and uh, artificially inflating the rents in Belgrade. And so I said, hey, I'm a nomad. Why don't I just move on out? And so I did. We got an apartment and uh, everything's going really, really good here. Uh, so it's a nice little town. I'm gonna to take you on a little tour of it. This is the city center area. And uh, life's been pretty good down here. Uh, there's not as much to do as in Belgrade, but uh, there's, the quality of life is, is, is good. Uh, it's better, I, I'm not gonna say it's better, but I will say the water is much better. The air is much better during the winter because uh, people use more natural gas down here and whatnot. So I'm gonna take you through city center to show you, uh, give you a little tour of this great little town. Here's a hotel that they are uh, renovating. So this is not a new building, but it is a uh, renovation from the Yugoslavian era. It's been closed for quite some time, but they're doing a quite little good job on it making some headway. It should be open hopefully this year. Uh, so this is the main walking area of Khrushchevitz. There's banks, there's a kiosk, there's a big office building. Uh, not a lot of people, I don't think, use that building anymore, but it's there. We have a grocery store. So I live in city center. And uh, I live more in city center here than I did in Belgrade. And I really lived in city center in Belgrade. The reason being is because this town is so small, I can walk anywhere I need to be in five minutes or less. It's a great little place. Uh, it, it has some advantages and like uh, some disadvantages. The advantages are everything is very close. It's almost right outside my doorstep. The disadvantages is I don't get very much physical exercise like I did in Belgrade. So I'm gonna take you through the town and uh, the walking area. I'm not gonna take you up the walking area because it's too long, um, but it's a stone, it's like a cobblestone street where all the cafes are at. And I'm gonna take you through the city center and then through the cafe area. And we're gonna end at my building where I live. And then in the next video, I'll take you into my apartment and give you an apartment tour. If you're wondering, prices down here are about 35% less than Belgrade sometimes even 40%, more on the 40% side for food and about 35 to 40% even for apartments. Uh, so you can find some good deals down here still. And uh, everyone's real nice down here. Uh, English is spoken a little bit better in Belgrade, but I get by here just fine, no problem, uh, especially with the younger crowd. Here is the walking street with all the cafes on it. There's some nightclubs down there as well. And I'm not gonna take you down that street because it's just too long. I've only been outside of Serbia for five days uh, since I've been here. I came here in August of 2020. Um, so I went to Corfu, Greece with some friends for five days. Highly recommend Corfu, Greece. Uh, very nice place. The people there are very nice as well. I was able to leave uh, Khrushchevitz and fly out of Niche, Serbia, International Airport. Uh, for $20 going to Corfu and $40 returning. So it's $60 uh, per person. I wanted to take a backpacking trip through Thailand uh, one last time before I really settle in here. And uh, so I'm holding off on the car. It's like maybe 3,000 euros, not big money, but it's something you have to maintain while I'm gone for three months. So I'm gonna pick one up when I get home. Hopefully I'll get permanent residency soon and uh, maybe another year or two, and then maybe hopefully citizenship. I really want to become a citizen of Serbia because it's an up and coming country. Uh, it's well worth living here. The quality of life, I would say, is high, especially if you're a foreigner. It's growing. Uh, they're making more deals with more countries and uh, the passport is very strong as well.
here's the cafe area where it's literally outside of my doorstep and I can go down and have coffee. I can work from here. Uh, there's Wi-Fi. Globaltel gives everyone that's new. That port's a number, uh, 200 gigs. So I have almost 300 gigs of on my cell phone, so I can just hotspot if I don't want to use a cafe Wi-Fi. What's really cool is there's also fiber optics down here from MTS. So before I left Belgrade, just one month before I left, I had signed a two-year contract under my business for the fastest fiber package. It's 400 megabits down, no, one gigabit down and 400 megabits up. And because it's a pure fiber network, I actually get that. And I can upload uh, YouTube videos in about one or two minutes. It's amazing service. So this is top restaurant, top pizza. And uh, this is like, I would say the best for the price deal in uh, Khrushchevitz. And the reason is, is because every time I order and I've ordered probably like 60 times from them, Every time my meal is exactly the same. I don't know how they do it, but it's amazing service. Um, they, it doesn't matter who cooks the meal, it's exactly the same like McDonald's. And I like that because I know what I'm gonna get. It, does, it never gets boring because their food is really fresh and really good. Highly recommend this place. Uh, so they're building, they're opening a, a new restaurant, cafe, uh, right next to my house. And uh, so this, this little place is up and coming. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a bad little town. Uh, Cafe Arabica, it's two or three stories. You can sit outside in their balcony. Living in a small town in Serbia can be quite good. Take my word for it. So if you're in Belgrade, you're paying too much for your Airbnb, get down to, uh, either get up to Subotica or Niš or Khrushchevitz because it's stress-free. So here's my building. It's a new building. So I have a full grocery store. I have my bank and there's a slot club as well. I don't gamble, but we have it. And so when I say I live in a five minute city, I literally just take the elevator down. I go to the bank or I go to the grocery store. And this grocery store, it's not one of those small little, you know, community uh, pantry grocery stores. It's a full grocery store. It has a meat department. It has fish, it has live fish. Um, it's, it's quite good. I'm gonna take you inside my apartment in the next video, but I, I pay 350 euros uh, for my apartment here, which is the same I paid in Belgrade, uh, except I live in a new building here. So the deal is much better here than in Belgrade. Um, the building I lived in in Belgrade, I'm sure you saw from my other YouTube videos, like the elevator was from like 1950, and it was pretty dilapidated and broken down and not well maintained. However, I have everything new here. Uh, my appliances are from Germany. My finishings are from Italy. Um, I have a, a new elevator here that always works. I don't have to walk up to the sixth floor on, on the stairs anymore, randomly. So I'm happy about that. And uh, the building is secure. I have a key fob. And it, it's a quite nice place. And it's fiber optic to your apartment. It's not just fiber optic to like, the community box and then uh, cable internet in its full fiber uh, from here to Belgrade. So I get very fast internet uh, still, even though I'm not in Belgrade anymore and it's reliable service as well. So I hope you've enjoyed my tour of my new home for 2023 and beyond. Leave a comment be below, subscribe, uh, or hit me up on Instagram if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.